your camera harness is slowing you down and this is why I use the spider harness. This is a good example of what I see a lot of people use and what I used to use. The two camera system is super popular. However, this harness has a lot of issues. The first one is that every time I would bend over, I risk my cameras clanking into each other, which is not only potentially dangerous and expensive, but it is unprofessional. Your clients will notice if you notice your cameras clank together, and it happens every time too. As opposed to my spider harness, which has absolutely no motion when I bend over at all. I can bend over all day long, and these cameras aren't going anywhere. They're not knocking into things without my say-so, and they're staying right here on my hips. I can do anything I want. With this harness option, I have an issue with squatting on the ground. The issue with squatting is that my camera with a flash attached to it touches the ground. I went through so many of these flash mount feet that it's it's not even funny because of the attach it's the attachment point that is the weakest. So if it touches the ground enough, it's going to break. I went through so many of these before I realized that my harness is the problem. And another thing, I bruise easily and every time I squat, my <laughs> cameras or flashes will touch my calves and I would have bruises up and down my legs after wedding days of just like constant up and down fluff a dress, pick up equipment, grab my bag like it's up and down up and down and I would constantly be bruising my legs and or ruining the feet on my flash. With the spider harness though, my flash is close to the ground but it doesn't touch and I am low to the ground. I can like straight up booty to grass here and my flash isn't touching the ground. That means that I'm not going through flash feet. That means that I'm not bruising myself to get up and down because my flash and my cameras are in one spot. I can squat all day long up and down and my cameras stay right here. My last biggest reason why I switched from this harness is because it literally pulls on your shoulders all day long. And if you have two cameras, you have two lenses that are not necessarily light, two flashes, flash modifiers, you are looking at a lot of weight that is being put immediately on your upper shoulders. I noticed after long wedding days or even like long shoots, like two hour shoots, I was having lots of pain and lots of strain in my shoulders. Cut to the spider harness and let me grab these so they don't clank. <laughs> As opposed to the spider harness that literally is attached to my hips. So when I'm walking around, the, the weight is right here, which is like where humans are supposed to bear weight. Sometimes my hips are a little bit sore. I'll give it that, but it's not my shoulders and it's more of a surface pain because of the, the pressure put on my hips. I would rather have it here than here all day, every day. And now I'm gonna address a couple of concerns people have about this harness. Concern number one is that they're worried that since the cameras are literally unattached from the harness, that something's gonna happen to the camera itself. And my argument for that is that it's camera equipment and you should be careful no matter what. Um, with the other harness, they can untwist and they can fall out of the out of the mechanism that keeps it on the harness. There are like a million ways everything can go wrong. Being careful is like a surefire way though to make sure that this works well. I have never in my entire career had a camera not end up back on my hip the way that it was supposed to. It just takes a little bit of awareness to make sure that it gets put on and taken off appropriately. This also has locking mechanisms, which is amazing. So when I lock it, it's not going anywhere. I can set it down at a reception and there, it's not coming off the harness. I can party with the people at the reception. It's not coming off the harness. It is so secure in there. It's not going, it's not going anywhere. And then all I do is really easily flip a switch and I can take it out again. Super easy. It also is equally as fast as the other harness to take your camera up and put it back. I know you don't believe me. I've been using this harness for about eight months. So I'm gonna do a speed test for you. All right, so with each one, I'm going to put up one camera, take it down, pull out my other camera. Okay, that's the speed test. One, two, three. Portrait mode too on that one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put on the other harness and show you that this is just as fast. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, one more time for fair measure because they almost caught me off guard where they were on my body because on my hips, I know exactly where they are. I feel like this will be a better shot for this harness. Okay, ready? One right, more time. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> 
<laughs> okay, there are gonna be reasons to hate every harness. There are gonna be reasons to love every harness. The reasons to love the spider harness way more than any other harness that you can use is the fact that it makes more sense. It doesn't hurt you. It keeps your cameras more secure and you're able to be quicker and more efficient with your movements when it counts the most, which is when you're shooting. So I hope that this video helped you. And if you would like to see more content like this, subscribe to our channel and then comment below what your favorite harness is. Um, there is a right answer. <laughs>